Hi guys, I'm here with Lindsay. No clowns today, but <laughs> what we're doing is a tutorial on some makeup. So I have a few different types of makeup, which I'm gonna show you here in a few, um, just to show the different techniques, also different types of makeup you can use. So today I'm really excited to show everyone my favorite brands, mainly IT Cosmetics, Bare Minerals, Smashbox, Too Faced, Bourbon Decay, my favorite brushes, and even threw in a brand that you can get from the drugstore, especially for those who don't really care to shop at uh, the stores, but they do offer great discounts, just FYI. So here I'm applying on Lindsay the Bye Bye Under Eye concealer by it cosmetics which is one of my favorite products and a must-have in your makeup bag it allows you to skip a whole extra step by not having to apply foundation I don't know about anyone else but when you're adding layer after layer after layer when you prime and then conceal and put the foundation on all this six time I've got kids I work, I do a whole bunch of things, and I need as much extra time as I possibly can. So skipping the whole foundation routine is a must for me. So here, I'm gonna use the IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation, along with my favorite brush, which gives a nice airbrushed look. The Celebration Foundation really takes out any of the shine that you have, giving a nice blended color and a nice airbrush look. If you're looking for a photo finish, this is a great foundation to use. It's lightweight, not too heavy, and it blends very nicely. As you can see, as long as I'm not brushing Lindsay's face off here, that it blends so nice and will really provide a photo finish that you'll see in the end. And along with that product, using the IT Cosmetics Contour. So in order to contour different parts of your face, it provides different colors for different skin tones or for different contouring that you wanna do. If you wanna do heavy contouring or light contouring, it provides those different colors for you. What I'm doing with Lindsay, when you do it along the neck bone and the neck, it allows to get rid of any um, double chin or uh, allows the neck bone to stick out so you can kind of make it look like you're thinner or um, add more definition to your cheekbones, um, things like that. So it really depends on what you're looking for or what you're looking to have stand out. I like to use lighter more in the T-zone and then you bring your darker contouring along the cheekbones, along the chin and neck to darken that area so that you don't have the double chin or even if you don't have a double chin, it's always nice to have that area thinned out a little bit. What you feel is your problem area with Lindsay, she expresses that she doesn't care for her neck. Now there's certain things that you can do to minimize that, like I just expressed. So here I'm using the Marc Jacobs lipstick, mainly because my blush wound up crashing and falling into a million pieces. So I'm using this to show you that you have options. So it's a nice shade that matches her skin tone. I can use it to add a little bit of color to her lips and then use a little bit of color that I have left on my finger to highlight her cheeks to add some color. And here we've got the Smashbox Trio palette, which I tend to love my purples, especially with skin tones such as myself or with Lindsay. They add nice contouring for the eye. I always start with the lighter shade going all the way up to the eyebrow and then I bring the next shade down and I bring it on the innermost part of the eye and then the darker shade. There's a lot of different ways to do the eye depending on what you want to do and of course depending on the eye shape. Certain techniques can make your eyes look wider 
or make your eyes look smaller. So if you have smaller eyes, you of course want your eyes to look bigger. If your eyes are bigger, you may want them to look a little smaller. But I'm using the purple because it goes well with her skin tone and the color of her eyes. And I'm gonna take the darker tone and do it in a V on the outside of her eye. I'm using water because it helps make the eyeshadow stick just a little bit more without having to use a primer or anything like that. And it also darkens it so that you have more of a higher pigmented color. So in case you don't have something like a wand or a cover to help where your eyeshadow doesn't fall on your cheek or your mascara doesn't fall on your cheek to leave those little marks. You can use your finger to lend as a helping hand and this is what I'm doing with Lindsay because let's face it not everyone has all the necessary tools. And here I'm using the Lasting Eyeliner and my favorite eyeliner brush, the Slanted Brush. It goes on nice and it stays on without smudging. It's also uh, pretty waterproof actually. Uh, you can do any technique. So with the slanted brush, uh, if you really have a hard time wanting to do cat eyes, this really helps. Uh, if you need to blend something in, say if you get some mascara on the top of your lid or on the bottom and you need to blend that, it works well because it gets nice and close. And if you don't have a slanted brush, a cotton swab or an ear cleaner, whatever you want to call it, they work well too. There's all kinds of tools that you have around your house that can really help out without having to spend a lot on tools. So if you do have any questions about what I'm doing here today, or if you'd like to see a technique, or if you'd like to know if there's any other tools that you can use because you don't have a certain type of brush or even a certain brand of makeup, I'd be happy to give you some helpful hints. Just send a comment and I will be sure to get back to you. So now that we have all that blended, we're gonna add our mascara. And I'm using the Voluminous Manga Mascara along with my favorite Urban Decay. I tend to tell people to look at my shoulder if you're applying it on someone else because it brings the lower lid at a certain point so you're not hitting the upper part of your lid because I believe we all have had that little mistake once you have your eyes done and then you wind up hitting the top with the mascara and it's always hard to blend it after that because it sticks to it. So then you almost have to kind of start over again. Uh, of course, unless you have the tool that I was talking about before. But when you use two different types of mascara, it helps give you that nice, full, elongated look that most of us are looking for. So I like to do a twofer. And you can get any brand from the drugstore. You just have to be careful because some of them do wind up flaking off. So if you do use a drugstore brand, maybe try and find a better quality um, sealer that you can seal it with so that it doesn't flake off onto your cheek later on. I tend to use the cheaper brand and then I finish it with my favorite brand. But this brand particularly happens to be pretty nice and I haven't had a problem with it flaking. So if there's a favorite brand or if you want to know about something that works, again, just send me a comment or a message and I will give you whatever information I have or whatever knowledge because I love to share. Another little trick or tidbit of information is if you shimmy your mascara wand along your eyelashes, it helps evenly distribute it as well as leaving out clumps. So here is the final part of the makeup application, and that's the eyebrows. I have a lot of people ask me about my eyebrows. Mine are more natural, but I do, as I get older, have spots where I need to fill in. 
and the eyebrows like the eyeshadow also go by certain dark spots and light spots to highlight certain areas. So I'm using the Ardell and my IT Cosmetics eyebrow brush. And here's the finished product of Lindsay. You can see all the highlighted areas and everything's filled in nicely. Hopefully you think her makeup looks as nice as she does. Thanks for watching. And for more tips, stay tuned and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.